Hello everybody, this is Dreaming of back for the semi-final matches of my tournament. Wow. We are about four matches away from crowning a winner. And we got two matches to go through here. Up in our first semi-final matchup, we have Diddy Darius going up against Xeno Slick Goku. Neither one of these two have made a fi major final before. One of them's about to do it today, and the other one's about to be knocked out. Well, they'll go in the third place playoff, you know, the match that doesn't matter. And then over here, we have MEJP10, our overwhelming underdog, going up against the champ, Ultima Dino King. Can Emmy pull off the upset of all upsets? Well, it's, it's possible. In this tournament, we have seen a lot of upsets in this tournament, so it wouldn't surprise me if Emmy wins this match. Honestly, um, given the teams that they have, not to say that they're bad teams, but I would say this is Emmy's best chance to actually make a final because I whenever I do another tournament if they're in it I don't think they're gonna do this well again but I sub I suppose you could say that for a lot of the com competitors like these like these two as well you know what an opportunity for these for, 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 for these three to get to a final I mean ultimate's already been in a final or two before so nothing new for him but what an opportunity these three have got which one of them is what which one of them will take well one of these two will definitely be in the final because they got to play each other and speaking of this matchup, let, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Right, let the semi-final begin. In the red corner, for Diddy Darius, we have a Gigant Spinosaurus. This Gigant Spinosaurus, pretty solid for Diddy Darius. Not as OP as the Amargosaurus, obviously, but it's pretty solid. And it does have the type advantage over this Pentaceratops, so that could be key. But, as I said in a previous video, this Pentaceratops in particular does seem to be better built to deal with type disadvantages than other pentaceratopses in this tournament. Mainly because it only has one lightning move and that lightning move only gets triggered during a tie so as long as there's no ties, Xeno won't have to worry about the type disadvantage. Of course, the Gigant Spinosaurus has Rock Roller, which gets triggered after a win. So you know, all these little stipulations, but which way will this battle go? Let's find out. Ooh, we start with a tie. That triggers the Gatlin Spark. Oh, 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 nope, nope, move the thingy. But it is a crit from the Gigant Spinosaurus, and just the start that Diddy Darius would want. That triggers the Rock Roller, and it gives Diddy Darius the early lead. Oh, and he's extending that lead, but this Pentaceratops does have the protection of Tag Team, should it need it. And, well, it's going to need it at this rate. Oh, well, there's the Tag Team. Parpasaurus coming in to take the hit, to stop the Pentaceratops from going down, and to stop Xeno from going 1-0 down. But this is a strong start from Diddy Darius. Ooh, Pentaceratops finally getting off the mark there with the first hit of the, with its first hit there. Light recovery coming in. A good hit, good strike back by Xeno. Oh well, 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 there goes Pentaceratops. And Diddy Darius' is strong start paying off as he has the 1-0 lead. And that could be important because, you know, less work for the Amargosaurus to do, I suppose. Not good for Xeno though, he would have liked to have had a chip away at our Marga with Penta, but it didn't happen. And now he's got a full strength, pretty much a full strength Gigant Spinosaurus to deal with. But this Karanosaurus does have the type advantage, and it is Hunter type, so should it get hits off on the Gigant Spinosaurus, it is going to do a decent amount of damage. And that could be key for Xeno to get back in this match. As I said, what an opportunity these two have to get to a final. You know, they can both be happy with how they've done in this tournament, but what a chance to get to a major final and possibly win. Ooh, Zeno gets the hit there. Crucial hit that could be. Oh, but did he get the crit? Light recovery's coming as well. Diddy Darius on top. And it and looks like he'll be staying on top. Ooh, 
will. Not looking good for Zeno, but, you know, Zeno came back in the quarterfinal match to win. He looks like he's going to have to do it again. Oof, could that crit be what Zeno needs? Get some momentum back in this match. Ooh, a crucial hit that could be. The type advantage will apply here, adding extra damage. Can Zeno avoid going 2-0 there? Well, so far, he kind of almost has. He has avoided going 2-0 down. The two platoon crush coming in to crush the Giant Spinosaurus out of the match. Oh, look at it, it's tiny. <laughs> it, it's like it's like Jurassic World Evolution 2, it's tiny. It's like no bigger than a horse. Boosh. Well, we are level packing, but Diddy still has a decent lead. As his MVP here comes in, the Amargosaurus. Well, we all know what this Amargosaurus can do. And it is Crisis type. And it has the Final Fury. And it's got the Attack Boost. And it's got the Futaba Cannon. Well, put it this way. If this Amargosaurus gets off a of Futaba... Hell, even a crit on Sora Faganax is going to be game over. Oh, well, there goes Coronasaurus And Diddy Darius, 2-1 in front. And now... Now things get interesting because the Futaba Cannon will be triggered and the Sorophagonax is coming in. Now Zeno could be in some big trouble here. The first thing he's got to do is stop Futaba. He has to stop Futaba Cannon. If he gets hit by a Futaba Cannon, it is going to be game over. That's not saying that the Sorophagonax will die in one hit, but it will be on really low health. Although, it does have recovery. But I don't know how much of its how much of its health it'll get back though with that recovery. Well, Zeno doing better, getting off a crit of his own, but that could suit Diddy Darius as well because it's a Margosaurus is crisis type. Well, another firebomb will finish the job. Can Zeno get it? Well, he's not going to get it here. Oh no, it's a Futaba cannon. Oh, this is a big disaster for Zeno. Is this the end? Honestly, I'd love to count the number of times Diddy has got off a Futaba cannon in this tournament. Look at that! Yeah, I, I think that's it now. But he has to get the next hit. If he doesn't get the next hit, it's over. Oh, he gets the next hit! How oh, crucial! Magma Blaster, Futaba Cannon gone, so I think Amargosaurus is actually going to go down here. And a recovery to come. Well, can, can Zeno recover? Can he do it? Skip! The Sorophagonax narrowly surviving the Futaba Cannon. Getting that crucial recovery. And even more crucially, killing the Amargosaurus. Which means it's all on tank tactic now for Diddy. Can Diddy Darius finish the job? Or can Zeno yet again come from behind to win? Ooh, it's a tie. Another tie. Oh, oh that's, that's game. That is game over for Zeno. Sand Trap is going to come in to finish off the Sorophagonax and send Diddy Darius through to the final. Well, it, it, it should come out. Yeah, that's, that's game. That's game. Diddy Darius, despite losing his ace in the hole, the Amargosaurus, finishing the job with Tank Tector. And defeating Zeno in the first semi final matchup to book his place in the final. As for Zeno, well, we haven't seen the last of them because they will have a third place playoff match with whoever loses in this next matchup. So you can still finish your tournament on a high. Right now, speaking of highs, it's time for pretty much a David versus Goliath matchup here. As we see, MEGP10 
taking on Ultima Dino King. Well, here we go. Here we go. In the red corner, for MEGP10, we have Alpha Kentrosaurus and... Well, whatever happens here, I think we can safely say that MEGP10 has been the story of this tournament. Absolute insanity of an achievement to get to this semi-final and to have a chance to get to a major final. Like, I'm not saying they won't do they, they won't do it again, but in my opinion, they are not going to get a better opportunity than this to get to a major final. There's just one obstacle standing in the way, and that is Ultima Dino King. Ooh, it's a tie. Like, this would be the upset of the tournament if Emmy pulls this off. Can they do it? You know, as Molochoridus and the Seven Shots have shown, it can be done. Well, not with a start like that. With a start like that, it's going to be a comfortable win for Ultima. But, but you know, as I said, it, it, it can be beaten. With a chance, but they're not invincible. Well, no one's invincible in this tournament. <laughs> well... Here's a Quake Saber and a tie Bomb. This Kentrosaurus does have a tight disadvantage against a Coronosaurus, so that will not help any out at all. And I will say, I mean, I don't want to be critical, because they've done so well in this tournament, but especially in the knockout rounds, they have had to rely on the Super Barry quite a lot. And the Awaken mode as well. They have been quite lucky with that, if I'm honest. Well... Well, well, well. Any JV10 in the lead. And Ultima Dino King will not be 1 0 up. Instead, he's going to be 1 0 down. Oh, and a, and a tie bomb for Moles. Right, now for Ultimate Second Dino, the Super Tarkia. Well, it did the business against Ratchet in the quarters. Can it do the business again? Well, can any JP10 extend this lead, or will Ultima pull it back? Come on, then! Well, the, well, we are level packing. The Alpha Kendrosaurus did his job, though. It took out the Kronosaurus and has left us level packing. And again... Tarkia will have the advantage of tight advantage over this Penta, but this Pentaceratops does have Thunder Driver, so that move will not get triggered unless until the Pentaceratops gets a hit. Which it probably will. Who will face Diddy Darius in the final? Can any JP10 do it? Or will it be Ultima Dino King? Or will it be a draw? Ooh, Ultimate gets the next hit. That technique boost is ramping up. The Earth Barriers are going to be happening. Okay, that's once. And yet, no Earth Barrier. There's a surprise. Ooh, ooh, there's a tie. No Sand Trap. Ooh, but the Pentaceratops gets the next hit. You know what that means. Thunder Driver's been triggered. Oh, oh, another tie. No sand trap. Oh, it's a thunder drive. Well, it's, uh, it's probably the worst case scenario, actually, because the Tarkia has the type advantage. You know, I'm sure that any would have rather got off rock or a crit. And it's a wait, wait time. Can Ultimate come back into this? Oh, he gets the crit. That should be all she wrote for Pentaceratops. Oh, and it's not. And of course, he gets the Earth Barrier off when it doesn't matter because the Taki is on low health. Oh, well. Ooh, will that tie kill Taki? Yeah, no, it won't. Instead, the Pentaceratops goes down and Ultimate has a narrow 2 1 lead. How tense is this match? But. Here comes the big threat for MEGP10 now. It is the Super Barry. 
the awaker mode on three? Well, it's... This super barrier's basically come in and swept up during a knockout round for Emmy. Can it do it again? Oh, it's a crit from the Tark! The Tarky again off a cheeky crit there. Right off once. Okay, there we go. There goes Tarky, yeah, but it does get off a cheeky crit. Could that be costly? And let's not forget, this Alpha Acro does have the Dino Stuffer, so Ultimate will want to save that for when the Barry is in its Awaken mode. That way he can go Rock then, and he won't have to worry about getting hit. Of course, he can still get damaged a lot by Tides, so yeah, there is that. Can this Alpha Acro finish the job for Ultimate, or can the Super Barry do it for Emmy? Now things get really interesting. Come on then! Ooh, Ultima gets the first hit. Can he do it? Will Ultima actually retain this title again? Alright, that's twice. Next round is awakening time. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, is it, wait, is this enough? This might actually be enough. This might be me for. Oh, it's not! It's not! And you know what that means? It's a wait, wait time. But, but, the odds are in ultimate favour here because a tie will be enough. And he's got the dino stuffer. Oh, that's game, that's game, that's game. Doesn't matter what happens now, Emmy's not getting the hit. And it's a tie anyway, so ultimate's gonna win. Oh, gosh, why did he go for the crit? Well, I'm not too surprised there, to be honest. Ultima Dino King made it, well, made, it, made it awkward. It did get awkward, though. Especially if Amy had got the hit there. It would have been awkward. Would the Acro have survived? I would probably say it would have. And again, you know, he had the protection of Dino Stuffer, so Amy couldn't get off a crit. A Hydro Cutter might have done it, though. Hydro Cutter would have done it, because it does a lot of damage. But yep, that is Ultima Dino King, yet again, through to the mid to a final. Where we will see Diddy Darius going up against Ultima Dino King. Right, let's have a look at the brackets and we can end the session. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is our finale. It will be Diddy Darius going up against Ultima Dino King. Can Ultima Dino King win two tournaments in a row? Or will Diddy Darius win his first major tournament? Honestly, like, my, my money... Uh, but yeah, before... You know, we have to say commiser commiserations to these two because they did so well to get there. I mean, MEJP10 in particular did so well to get to this semi-final, but just run out of steam in the end against Ultimate. Ultimate just proved a step too far. But, you know, the semi-final appearance, a chance, a playoff match against Zeno for a chance to finish third. They can they can leave this tournament with their heads held high. They've done so well. Given, given that last time they were the only team in my last tournament to not win a match well other than the bot teams but they don't count okay they were the only like person team that didn't win a match last time in my last tournament and massive step up massive improvement and it, it it's an example to all those that have not won a match in this tournament you know what can happen what can happen if you try again if you just enter again you never know it can happen it can happen for you and MEJP10 is proof of that. As for Zeno Slick Goku, almost did it, almost did it. But the That Futaba Cannon. That Futaba Cannon cost him. Cost him big time. But yeah, that's going to end this session. So, yep, yeah, that's it for the semi final round. So, onwards to the last video of this tournament, where we will have the third place playoff and then the big finale. And until then, this is Training Gamer signing out. <laughs>